Physics is a science about everything in the entire universe. Not like astronomy or philosophy with the Greek lads, but how everything works. And it's pretty crazy, like, bro, you got this floating rock in the sky going around this, man. It's cool, but... You got a bunch of weird stuff with the symbols, words, equations, like this. How? Well, to start it off, we gotta know what space is. It could be something or nothing. It's the three dimensions because that's what the world is. It's the place where things are in, where they are, and where they're pointing to. Next, we got time. It's the progression of existence, and it keeps going forward. Forever. It's important because it needs to be there for stuff to go from one place to another place, to make life, life. Time can be a dimension, not like the others, but time and space are like meant for each other. So this dude says, bro, what if you combine time and space together? Then this former student of his with crazy hair said, yo, that's stupid. But since he was trying to know why things pull on each other, he checked the idea out and he was like, wow, that works. And that's when space time was created. It's space and time, but both. But we got a problem now because we got four dimensions. It's too weird now. So let's replace one of the axes with time and make a diagram of that. Now that's clean. But where are we even going with this? We haven't even talked about the basics yet. Objects are made of stuff called matter, which can come in different kinds, I guess. Bro, look at this room. It's made out of matter. How much matters in something is mass. Density is how much mass is in some space called volume. By the way, there's an equation connecting the three. You should probably know some algebra, though. You know when things go from one place to another place? That's motion. It happens when objects move, but they gotta flow with time in order for that to happen. But objects don't move for no reason. They need something called ENERGY! What you just saw needed energy for it to happen. Energy is everywhere, and it's needed for stuff to do work. Oh yeah, I noticed that energy can't be created or destroyed, even though it was created in some explosion that started everything in the universe for no reason. There's two forms, one that is stored if it's got potential to move, and the other that makes stuff move. Kinetic energy is pretty cool, I like how it makes stuff move. But how does energy, like, make stuff move? Force got it down. It's like the transfer of energy that gets stuff to move. If something's more massive, more force is needed to move it though. So it's all relative, I would say. There's another kind of force that does the exact same thing, but for stuff to rotate. Rotation means spinning. Gravity can be a force, or not. To the crazy hair dude, it was just stuff distorting space-time, nothing really. It also could be an illusion that might not even exist to quantum theory, but it's usually a force according to some guy who made three rules on moving. If gravity acts on an object, that's weight. Don't get it confused. Since we were talking about motion, can't things move more in less time than other things? Well, yes it can. This is velocity. As you can see, it's cooler to people for something to go from one position to another position in a shorter time. That's speed. Now I know I literally just said these two words are the exact same thing, but they actually aren't because this one has direction. It's a vector. It's a vector. It's a vector. Things can't just go from not moving to moving fast instantly though. It's gotta be smooth. So we gotta change a velocity as it moves. You know, it looks better and it makes more sense. This is kind of boring though. I like things going into each other, so let's talk about collision. We got two objects and force got them moving. Because of the force, mass, and how fast it's going, that ball's got strength that it wants to hit something. A lot. So it does it. That energy goes to the smaller object and it starts going faster from the power of the larger object. Makes sense, right? There's also a spitting momentum for stuff that spin that makes stuff spin. Like a Beyblade or something, I don't know. That spin force I was talking about is how much the angular momentum changes. We'll get back to the rotation stuff later, but I'm trying to figure out why my ball decided to stop moving after moving. That's right. Resistance. It doesn't want stuff to keep moving, and it's here to make stuff harder to deal with. When stuff move and touch other stuff, there's a resistance force that tries to stop that stuff from moving while touching other stuff. This one's got a good name. This also happens with the surrounding air, called drag, and it's one of the four forces of flying things. I forgot to talk about this word. It's also resistance, but it literally just keeps the thing what it's doing. Okay, back to spin stuff. From a general view, objects can go around itself or go around something. You know, the Earth does that and everything else. 
Rotation is everywhere like a car turning. It's got forces of its own, one pointing to a center and making the turn, and the other one going out because of inertia tripping out or something. Tired of stuff going in a straight line? Well, now we got a spinning version of that. And also another that, you know, that still goes in a straight line, but, you know, spinning, of course. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why? I don't know, but hey, check out this pendulum. So we can move on to the hot stuff now. We're gonna be talking about heat and work and stuff. There's rules for this too, I guess. Heat is literally energy, but going from one place to another place. It makes stuff hot because of kinetic energy. It's actually all of the energy in the stuff. Don't get it confused with this one. That's just the average of the particles moving in the substance. You know, it's weird how atoms and molecules can just like move and that makes heat, but yeah. Let's go back to the matter stuff. One is gas, which doesn't have a clear shape or volume, but the atoms move like crazy. There's two types of gas, one that doesn't exist and one that does exist. And yeah, you guessed it, they got their own rules as well. You ever wonder what would happen if you put a hot thing and a cold thing together? Well, they're gonna balance out. What are you, dumb or something? Aw, oh, dang it, this word. This word's pretty stupid. It's supposed to tell you how disordered something is, but if we break this glass pane and look at the broken pieces, yeah, it makes some shattered garbage, but some dude can say, I like how those pieces are arranged. That's order, not disorder. We got a box with things in it. Maybe that gas that doesn't exist. It's a cool box, but it's nothing to this box, covered by a wall. Nobody knows where those atoms are in that gas, but remove the wall, the gas starts spreading to the other box. It's more spread out. It's the chance of stuff being in an area and the size of that area. The randomness. I think you probably know about this wavy thing called a wave. It goes back and forth, got a top and bottom, how much it's moved from resting and how fast it goes. Oh yeah, and the, the distance of like the repeating. The thing about the back and forth stuff is that for a wave to go back and forth, it's gotta already go back and forth to go back and forth. It's pretty nifty. You know what else goes back and forth? That's right, light. You need that to see. It's a type of wave, an electromagnetic one, something powered by forces that makes stuff go away or pull towards each other. It's pretty cool, even though we see nothing compared to everything. There's this other type of wave that's not as good as light, but it's there to make vibrations so you can hear- Yeah, that's why it's important. Everything is made up of tiny things, which are also made up of tinier things. And we gotta be careful here, because we're entering the levels of quantum mechanics. But we're gonna cover some stuff about it anyway. Okay, so this is the new version of physics, and it like, disproves everything I was talking about. Like, I said light was a wave, but I actually lied. It's more than a wave. Because someone came up with this thing that doesn't exist, that sucks in light, but doesn't bounce it back, but still emits energy. But how much energy? That questioned light's existence as a wave, and that wasn't good. But everything's gonna be okay, because someone steps in to save it and says, What if energy were packets? Everything broke into pieces, but it's okay because he won a Nobel Prize for that. Now this started a chain reaction because the hair dude comes back again and says light is also a particle. He won a Nobel Prize for that. Okay, so light is reinvented and started to make sense. Not really, actually. Then De Bruyne comes in with that light wave particle thing and says, We should apply this to everything. And he did. And that worked. Now electrons just became so weird that you can't even find out where it is in an atom. But it's okay because he won a Nobel Prize. Schrodinger strikes with a groundbreaking remaster of the atom and then thinks about a cat who dies and doesn't die at the same time. Coming back to those tinier things, those tinier things are made up of even tinier things. We got a gang of particles that are the hub of everything. Some got their own charges and something called spin? Okay, so protons and neutrons are made up of up and down quarks, but there's actually like six that exist. But the others decay so fast, I don't even know why they exist. The electron is part of the gang, but there's two other particles that are the exact same thing, but more massive. Also, they're unstable. There's also some particles that carry forces that keep things okay, I guess. But there's this one that's too weird for the rest, but helps with the others to get their mass. Every particle has like an anti-version of itself where it's the exact same thing, but opposite. I don't know. There's this weird energy that's somehow expanding the universe, and we don't know why it's expanding the universe. By the way, does all of this even matter? 